Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I've got quite a few. As always, I'm going to jump right in. Okay, so one of the first ones that I wore, um, I was super anxious to give this some love. It was in my last um, fragrances that I need to give more love to video. This is Stella McCartney Stella Rose Absolute. Um, this is an original tester bottle, so I do keep it in its box. And I absolutely adore this fragrance. This is it's kind of like a, a little bit of a deeper version of the original one. To me, this just smells like the original used to smell. Um, I do think I get maybe a little bit more of that, um, maybe a very slightly darker rose, and maybe a little bit more of the amber. But other than that, it smells exactly like the original formulation of Stella. I'm obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is my favorite rose perfume that has ever been made. And I just cannot imagine my life without it. And it's so nostalgic smelling for me. This is an old signature of mine. I started wearing this as soon as it came out. It was one of those perfumes that I was just really, really excited about when it was released and I've just been obsessed with it since it was released. I absolutely adore it. So anyways, that is the first one. That is Stella McCartney Stella Rose Absolute. Next, I wore one of my Gallagher fragrances and um, I love this one. I only pull this out in the cold weather though because this it does not perform well at all if it's even slightly warm out. Um, this is Gallagher Vanilla Silk. This is one I don't think that you can get this one anymore. I think they like brought it back for a second, which is when I bought it. Um, this is like a really, really vanilla heavy, kind of lighter version of By the Fireplace from Replica. And it gets compared to By the Fireplace. Um, it's the closest thing I can think of to tell you what it smells like. But this is lighter. Um, not quite as woody it's there's way more vanilla in it i love this this is just a really cozy if you could think of or if you can imagine just like a really cozy slightly woody maybe the slightest bit smoky vanilla that's what this is i really love it it's such a great fragrance and yeah i love pulling this out in this time of year um, I wear the heck out of my Gallagher fragrances. I do wish that I could see how much is inside. It's not that serious, but because it'll still take me ages to go through these. But anyways, yeah, this one is vanilla, white, amber, musk, and woody notes, and it's gorgeous. So anyways, that is, oh, in, in the cold weather, I can get about six hours out of this. So um, like I said, if there's even the slightest bit of warmth in the air, you could say goodbye to this. <laughs> You'll smell it for maybe 20 minutes. Um, but when it's cold out, I can get a good six hours out of it. It's fantastic. So anyways, that is Gallagher Vanilla Silk. Okay, next I pulled out probably, well, I don't know if it, I would say it's my favorite, but it's one of my most favorite iris perfumes ever. I absolutely adore this fragrance. This is a fragrance from Boucheron and this is called Iris de, uh, de Syracuse. And I love this. This is such a, oh gosh, it's such a light, kind of uh, slightly sweet, really fresh, powdery, iris fragrance the iris is really really it's like a very deep iris it's hard to explain but it's also light and sweet and fresh i wear this one to bed a lot in the winter time though i wear this as my scent of the day because um i get way i have way better luck with this in the winter time than i do in the summertime but in the summertime i'll wear this as a bedtime scent a lot it's such a cozy just fantastic bedtime scent. I adore it. But I did wear this one to bed as well. I didn't wear it as my scent of the day. I did wear this one to bed, but. Um, so anyways, yeah, love this one. This is Boucheron Iris de Syracuse. Okay, next I pulled out the beautiful bottle of Lancome Oud Bouquet that beautiful Amy just sent over to me. This is the new formulation. This is my favorite formulation. I love this scent. Ugh, this one is, 
it's Oud Bouquet, but it's a little bit more praline heavy, maybe a touch sweeter. Um, they kind of reined in the Oud a little bit with this one. And I love this. This is great for cold days, nasty days, where you just want a really comforting perfume. Um, that's what this was for me. It was the day that I wore this. It was a yucky day. It was super cold, really windy, really rainy, um, and I had to be out in it. So I was so happy to have a fragrance that was there with me the whole time and that kept me like super cozy. And I, it, I just knew I smelled good. Um, it's sweet. It's fantastic. This thing is nuclear. Um, you're going to get a good, I mean, this is one of those that you're going to smell like this until you wash it off, but, um, you're definitely going to get a good 12 hours out of it. Um, it's, it's fantastic. It's such a good scent. So anyways, that is Lancome Oud Bouquet, the new formulation. Okay, this next one, I wore this because I just had to make sure that my experience with this is still the same. Um, this is the this is the new formulation of Dior Addict. And when I did the video talking about um, reformulated fragrances that I find to be um, still really good or just as good or in some time, in some cases better um, This I had this fragrance in that video and I had so many people say that the new formulation just was terrible to them They felt like it was butchered. They felt like it didn't smell the same at all. That it was really watered down um, and I was so confused <laughs> because I, I Just don't have that experience with this um, my new bottle I've sprayed this on one hand and sprayed my the original 2002 on the other hand, and like I said in that video, this is not as complex. The note breakdown is completely different. Well, not completely different. It's just this this one just does not have very many notes in it at all. Um, this has only got a handful of notes in it, whereas the original is much more complex. It's not nearly as complex or rich smelling, but it's still nuclear, it's still very rich and deep and strong smelling. And I'm wondering, because this bottle is super old too, so I'm wondering, and I only have a little tiny bit left, so I'm wondering if what I've got in here, because it's got so much Tonka in it, um, which they, Tonka is not listed as one of the notes in the new formulation, but I would be willing to bet that Tonka is in here. I feel like the Tonka in this has really, um, I don't know, I feel like my, new one has maybe gotten really concentrated, which is why it, it is so similar to the old one. So I don't know. All I know is I'm going to go ahead and buy a new bottle of Addict because I need to anyways. I've only got, I don't know, I've only got a few wears left in this one, so I need to buy a new bottle anyways. Um, I'm going to buy a new bottle and see if a brand new bottle will give me the same experiences this one has or if this one's just old and really concentrated as well um but anyways yeah i love this it's nuclear on me i got a good 12 plus hours out of it this was one that i'm gonna smell like this until i wash it off um i love it it's fantastic so anyways that is dior addict okay <laughs> next this is a disappointment um i just picked this up from ulta this is the new angel mugler angel elixir um, I picked this up thinking I would love it. I knew, I knew from the note breakdown that it wasn't really going to smell like Angel. Um, and it doesn't. I don't really get, yeah, this, to me, this has nothing to do with Angel. I don't get Angel at all. But when I sprayed it, it's like a, it's a really sweet, really sweet, kind of rich vanilla smelling fragrance. I really like it in the bottle. I think it smells really nice. Do I think it's worth picking up? Not really, unless you're looking for like a really, you know, a super nice, easy reach, um, kind of sweet, but dark winter appropriate vanilla. Um, if you're looking for something like that, absolutely. On me, this ended up drying down to smell very, very similar to Carolina Herrera Good Girl, which I, re I do not like that fragrance. I don't like it on me. Um, it's just not, it's a fragrance that I've never really gotten along with. So I kept for the first, I would say hour, hour and a half, I would get whiffs of this and I'd be like, oh, this isn't groundbreaking or anything, but it's really nice. I enjoy a sweet 
dark wintertime vanilla. Um, so I was super pleased with it, but then after about an hour and a half, two hours, when it got to the very deep dry down, I kept getting a whiff of myself and I kept smelling good girl. And that's when I knew this was a fail for me. Um, so yeah, it, I don't know, you know, depending on your chemistry, it might not dry down to smell like that on you, but that's what it dried down to smell like on me. Um, if it would have stayed the way, if it wouldn't have changed again after that first hour or so, I would probably really, really like this. Um, and the longevity on this one is pretty good. It was pretty cold out the day that I wore this and um, I got a good six, seven hours out of it before I would have felt like I needed to reapply. So um, as with most Moog layers, the longevity is really good on this one. So anyways, that is uh, Moog Layer Angel Elixir, uh, which was a fail for me. Okay, next I pulled out my Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods fragrance. I love this scent. Um, this is like pear, caramel, and vanilla, and it's just really nice. Again, nothing groundbreaking about it. It's just kind of like a really nice, warm, sweet, slightly fruity vanilla. It's really beautiful. I think I actually prefer this one in warmer weather. Um, it didn't perform super well in the cold weather. So yeah, I think I will pull this out and wear this more in the warm weather. I think the pear in it is really kind of conducive to warm weather. Um, but yeah, I do love this scent. I think it's fantastic. Fantastic. I've been saying for years that I'm gonna pick up a full bottle of this, but I, I mean, I still have three quarters of a bottle of this or of the travel spray or the travel, the roll on left. So I think it's going to be a very long time before I would need to pick up a full bottle. But yeah, this one, um, in the cold weather, I only got, I don't know, maybe four hours out of it or so before I really couldn't smell it anymore. Um, I don't usually have that experience with it though. So this one, this might be some one that is like a casualty of my skin chemistry changing. I'm not sure. It still smelled great on me. It just didn't perform super well, but I do love this scent. So that is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. Next, I pulled out, this is a replica fragrance. This is just a little travel spray of Whispers in the Library, and I love this. This is, this is a really soft, kind of slightly not slightly, it's pretty earthy. It's like a soft, earthy vanilla and patchouli scent. It's kind of got this really beautiful mustiness to it, which I know sounds weird, but gosh, it smells so good. This one, I don't have great luck with as far as performance. I think I was only able to smell this for a few hours, um, but I love this. This is one that when I finish this travel spray, which I'm gonna keep this out and wear this a lot this this winter because I just enjoyed it so much. In fact, I think this is another one that uh, when I first got this years ago, gosh, I've, I've had this for probably maybe four or five years now. When I first got this, I didn't love it. I didn't think it smelled fantastic on me, but it's one of those that ever since my skin chemistry has changed, this smells fantastic on me now. And I absolutely adore it. Yeah, I love it. This is gonna live out because I'm gonna use this as a just an easy reach. I love it. So anyways, that is Replica uh, Whispers in the Library. And then last but not least, another one from one of my, er, from my last fragrances I need to give more love video. Um, this is YSL Libre. This is the La Parfum. Um, I really like this, but I don't think it's necessary at all. Um, I have, I've got two bottles of, of the original. I've got two bottles of the Intense. I've got the EDT and I've got this little travel spray, which I'm going to buy a travel spray of the new, what is it? P um, Patine? Planty? I can't even remember. There's a new one that just came out though. I'm gonna buy a travel spray of that one as well because I have to get my nose on all of them. But I love this. I don't think it's super different from any of the other Libres except for it's a little bit more syrupy smelling. Um, maybe a little bit less lavender in this one. This one has a really, this one has a smoothness to it. 
Um, the other ones can can have like a sharpness, I guess, maybe from the lavender. This one's really smooth. This one's very buttery smelling. It's really gorgeous. Um, do I need a full bottle? Absolutely not. I don't think this is a necessary fragrance. Like if you have this or the Intense or even the original, but this and the Intense are, they're so similar. You could definitely have one or one or the other and you're not missing out on anything. Um, I love this. Longevity is fantastic. These Lieb fragrances, I think, are my favorite designer releases in the past 10 years, easily. I just, I think they're so, it's such a fantastic fragrance. Um, such a cozy, warm, sweet, just perfect, easy to reach for, perfect fragrance. Makes an amazing bedtime scent, um, is perfect as just a daily wear, can wear it any time of year. It's just such a fantastic perfume. So anyways, that is YSL Lieb. Um, I keep calling it Libre and it's not Libre, it's Lieb. Uh, this is the Le Parfum. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.